Hi everyone and welcome to my spin channel and today I'm going to show you guys the gameplay of the, lat the latest uh, MMORPG game that has been released by Nexon Thailand It is called World of Dragoness and is an open world game uh, I have recently played this game for a few days and I will share you guys what I really like about it and what I actually don't like about this game so without further ado, let's get on to the game. Okay, firstly, let's talk about this graphic. The graphic is amazing. You can set your own frame rates from 30 frame rates per second up until a maximum of 60 frame rates per second. And you can also set your graphic qualities from very low to very high depending on your mobile phones. But for now, in order to show you guys the best gameplay, I will try to set it as maximum as possible as I have said, already set it to very high and to show other players I set it to 100 players at the same time What I really like about it is the quest part. As you can see here, in this game, you actually have tons of quests that you can do daily from main until area to request and also daily. And this quest is I can assure you that you will be very busy playing this game. And for me, I myself can't even able to finish the game the quest in a day because i have been very busy and I, i'm not sure about the other guy they i, I see the, uh, there's a lot of players that play non-stop and yeah at this point you can see there's a lot of players that are still doing quests in this area this is what i really like about this game where you can do quests you can do party quests and this is part of an open world that for me myself I have been looking for this kind of open world game okay the exchange or the market this is part of uh, the good in the game because the market itself is balanced because when you try to register your item you can prob you can find your minimum price of the item and also you can set the highest price that it can go so whether your the, there are tons of I, same item sell in the market the price will still uh, won't be fluctuate that much in this game this is what i like about this um, economic balance of the game compared to other games There's just a ton of area of places that you can go. There's just tons of it. You can also do uh, daily production activity where you can craft items and also you can uh, you can cook your um, 
recovery herb juice your uh, rough leaf hay for your pets and this is a good activity that you can do daily and it the best part is it won't be having any maximum amount of limit per day Okay, what I don't like about this game is the for the gameplay itself is the dungeon. Come on, why the dungeon? They have uh, amount of people in a party limit, so the limit is set to four percent in a party. So why? That's why next when you made this type of uh, strategy because. For me, uh, you should probably put at least 5 players per team because if let's say in a guard, in a clan, you have 50 players, right? So, getting a 5 people in, 4 people in a party is just not really actually little fun to flip play actually they should have made it into a minimum of five or maybe you can do more than five people per per party rate this is be will be amazing to play will be f more fun to play Okay, what really bother me in this game is the inventory or, or back capacity. As you can see here, the limit of my backpack is set to 60. And if I wish to expand my back slot, I need to pay a uh, red diamond that must be... Uh, paid using real money and this is very very not for me it's is very hard to really do this because using real money to expand slot or seriously if i wish to add up 10 slots more i need to pay hundreds of red diamonds this is not for me this is quite not a good way 
to spend my red diamond i guess other players will complain the same as well because 60 back back slot is not enough for me yeah if we do most of the quest we will find there's a lot of item in our bags and yeah this is very very hassle to me Okay, let me just clear my backpack. Maybe I can do something. And one more thing, what I don't like about this game is the finding goal is very very hard guys. Very extremely hard because if you are doing quests every, you have done every quest, they only give you a few, a few amount of goal that is not enough. Because as you can see here, if I am going to smell my, my item, I need 1700 gold. And yeah, this is getting gold is very 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 hard in this game. I'm not sure why they do this. Maybe they want to get they want to make the game a little bit hard for us to play. I'm not sure, but yes, I have found a few tips on the net that show uh how to get more than one million of gold coin at a time but for me as a player in an early game it is good to get that imagine they need to struggle to create a new character and create another character new character just to get those uh, gold but imagine if you are playing for a few days or a few weeks like me you can find that getting source of Goal is very very tough and at some point I really need to spend my red diamonds Yeah, I need to sp spend my red diamonds Just to purchase gold. See for 300 red diamonds. I can only get 180,000 gold and yeah Playing this will be wasting diamonds a lot So I need, I think I will buy 180 gold, I'm not sure about it, maybe I will buy it later on, maybe, I'm going to keep my red diamond for now, just in case. The detail of this game is very very good, the color of this game is very very amazing compared to other uh, gameplay so far, uh, other MMORPG game so far. We have Colosseum. This it is sort of arena where you can player versus player in an arena, and yeah, it is quite balanced. So there's a part where a main town that function as uh, a place where you can do fishing. 
can see here there are a lot of guys that doing fishing here and you can also sell your item you know, get something for now I can yeah I can sell probably so this when you when you do this activity you can gain item to do to craft your equipment uh, this is a good way yep you can simply obtain it and you don't have actually to buy it through the market you can yeah work hard to obtain it Okay, lastly, when we talk about P2V or pay to win, is this game when you ask about is this game pay to win or is this game needs a lot of money to spend? So, for me, from my opinion, every game has their own way or every game is, is known to be pay to win games. But when we talk about this game world of dragoness for me it's is kind of fair enough gameplay because why i why i said that this game is a fair game because even though you didn't top up you didn't buy red rubies you can gain your item through production yeah this is where you can craft your items according to your level Meaning that when the item will follow according to your level. Let's say for now, there are the max item level item is the the highest level item is the orange. So for now, at my level, I have the blue color equipment. I can that I can craft. This is easily get from the dungeons from the uh, mining or crafting so yeah for me this game is not that pay to win it is fair enough for the players it's just a matter of whether you want to work hard for it work hard to get it this is the where the boundaries are uh, uh, moves away meaning that if you want to get item as quick as possible you can just simply buy red diamond but although you buy the red diamond or the blue diamond you can still find that the non pay players can uh, reach can challenge can challenge uh, the player who bought red diamonds or uh, blue diamond as fast as possible because yeah you can get it the item through production the only matter is time time to get it time to craft it so for me this game is fair enough to play mm, I might be spending on the mount itself that I will yeah I will do a video of it I will try to get some of the amount and costume yeah the costume is quite unique but i hope i hope 
they will put the costume free costume for non uh, pay player so that yeah, we can actually uh, wear it although we didn't pay for it maybe like they can use 30 uh, 30 days uh, 30 days uh, tickets non-permanent tickets and this is quite good strategy if they use it so that more people will come to play because this game have been known uh, when well known since many years back from PC games and yeah they should they should really consider doing the 30 days package 30 days non-permanent uh, item package so that we we as non-pay user can feel can have can try the, the the item the epic item or the expensive item uh for our cell right So the the guide war has not been open yet. The update is being prepared. Yeah, we will see more update coming. So follow up. So I hope they implant more. Uh, they will plan. They will, they, I hope they will implement more interesting updates so that it will be enjoyed to play. Okay guys, I guess this is it for me for this video. I will be I will be playing this game. And I will show you guys maybe the costume or the mount 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 shop in the next video. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care and goodbye.